Hey Sagittarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading for the 8th through the 14th. Any information you all need, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, I don't have personals open right now. You can check me out on Patreon if you'd like. I do offer additional content over there for each sign. I also have a tarot course open right now. Um, I recently added a couple videos to it going over the energies of the clearance versus um, you know, environmental energy. So I went over that and also clarifying um, because that's something that I'm doing with the course. If I answer all questions and if I feel like a question is, you know, being asked enough or if I feel like I didn't, um, you know, if I wasn't so thorough with the topic, I'll add a video on that. So, um, yeah, that's something I've been doing. It's all in video format. So, yeah, if you all are interested, um, the information on that is down below. Anyhow, let's get into it here. This is very interesting already. Very, very, very interesting already. Um, so with, with these cards, the thing is with these tea leaf fortune cards, um, they have brought up some specific stories and often there have been multiple stories in one. So just stick around or skip around if it's not resonating with you in the beginning. So we have a man. You could be the man here in this situation or you could be dealing with a man. Dealing's a relationship with a man. That man could be yourself if you were a male. Okay? What's going on with man? The Tower, Scorpio and Aries. Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. And the Six of Cups, Sun in Scorpio. Something's about to go down here. Something's about to go down here because a message from the past is coming in. Six of Cups is your past. It is your past. And you have the Tower here as well. Tower, something that has ended, okay? Doesn't always represent an ending, but you do have a messenger here. This definitely looks like it could be a Scorpio or a fellow fire sign here. More specifically, Aries. But, um, yeah, what else is happening with this for Sagittarius? This could be a man, or like I said, you could be the man here in this situation. Two of Cups, <clears throat> somebody wants to reconnect. I almost feel like somebody wants to give you a truth, but it doesn't have anything to do with them. This could be a past partner giving you a truth about a current, okay? Um, but judgment, you have judgment right here, like they want to do right by you. So somebody is coming in here from your past or somebody you've known from childhood, they want to do right by you. You've known them for a long time, I'll put it that way. Let's summarize it like that. You have history with them. Could have been, uh, could have been friends in childhood, could have met this person through a sibling. Or the sibling could be involved here somehow. I don't know. Could be the sibling coming to you about this individual. It's, it looks like that one's going to get messy here. What else is happening with that? Four of Wands, family, the home. Could have been someone you worked with here. Um, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. I think there's been some betrayal. Or there's been like... How do I explain that there? There's something that's been kept from you. There's something that's been kept from you. Six of Swords that I feel like would have caused you... To move on from this situation here. What is that? What's going on with that? I feel like you're getting proof of that. Yeah, Ace of Swords truth. I feel like you're getting proof of whatever that may be. Ten of Cups. Yeah, so you can move on to your happiness here. Some of you, it may be something to do with a family. Maybe you're wanting a family. Um, it's also possible that there's a person here. Um, who was supposed to drop something really toxic. They were supposed to drop a toxic maybe person, toxic habit or something of that nature in order to progress with you and move forward, and they didn't do that. They didn't do that, but they didn't want you to know that they didn't do that, okay? So, yeah, that's tough, and I feel like that's the truth that's coming in here, all right? Um, you have bread, period of prosperity and abundance, which is weird considering the cards that come after, but like I said, they could be separate stories. We'll see what the tarot has to say. Bread, the devil. Mmm, mmm. Uh, Capricorn energy here, Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra. Money is causing, or lack of money, is causing relationship obstacles here. I do feel that for some of you, you could run into some money here. And I feel like um, because you're running into this, there's someone who may feel like you should give them some. Literally, hand out, Queen of Swords, this could definitely be a Libra. Um, but they feel like you should give them something here because you've run into money. And, you know, I do think that it's something... Like you already have plans for this money here. I feel like, yeah, you already have plans for it. And I feel like as soon as this person comes towards you with this, 
it's like the truth just slaps you in the face here, you know, um, just out of the blue. Uh, because that devil card, I feel like there's temptation here. I feel like there's temptation. I feel like this person, if they're not toxic themselves, they've got toxic habits, and they want you to support those habits, even if those are something as simple as, like, frivolous spending, um, you know, but I feel like it's something they were supposed to stop doing. And, you know, when you run into this prosperity, it's very, it's very clear um, that they're still doing that. So I don't know what's going on with that. But you have bear, danger, especially in money matters. Yeah, I mean, especially if you stay hanging. And you could be the person. You could be the person that has this habit here or that, um, you know, is refusing to let go of an individual who's draining you of your finances or just your energy, your value. Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. And the Four of Pentacles, hold on to your money. Hold on to your money. My goodness. Um, because that seven of pentacles here, it's like you're evaluating things. You're like, wow, I thought I had enough for this, I thought I had enough for that. There is disappointment here because you have given and given and nurtured and nurtured with the Queen of Wands energy in hopes that you would get something that you desire in return. And no, this is all greed. This is all greed coming from this person here. And I think that they could have made promises in the past. There's someone who could have made promises in the past, and they just, they didn't follow through. There was no follow through. Five of Wands, conflict, competition. It's like they get what they want. They go ghost, two of swords. They shut down from you emotionally. And it's like pulling teeth down with this person, and it really is. It really is. And they know how much you desire them or desire for things to work with them, you know. So it's almost like they, they play on that, you know, and that sucks. You have pale. Time to get out of the situation. Time to get out of the situation. What's going on with this? Knight of Wands. This is very specific, you guys. Um, that's your energy, though, with the Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Yeah, exactly. This deception, like this, this person, who they really are. I feel like you let go of their potential here, Sagittarius, and you see who they really are. Like I said, the truth just kind of slaps you in the face all of a sudden here. And you move far away from this energy. You're like, wow, you know, I, I'm not going to get what I want out of this. I'm just going to keep being drained of what I already have. And that sucks. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius, moon in Aquarius here. Um, I reckon you could have your moon in Sagittarius. You've got older woman. Dealings or relationships with an older woman. You could be the older woman here. Uh, you could be dealing with the older woman, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. What's going on with this? Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you are not an older woman, like if you are not physically an older woman, um, I do feel that you have gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge on how to receive, how to be in that feminine energy, how to receive. I feel like you know what to put out in order to get what it is that you want. I think you're learning that. That's something that you're learning here. Um, so yeah, I think you're growing wiser, especially moving from the page to the night. But most of you, I feel that you're the older woman here. I do. And you have the uh, Ten of Pentacles right here. I feel like that's your bag that you're getting here. <laughs> and I think that somebody is um, watching that, you know. And I think that for some, it's almost like you, you know that you have finances in order. You know that you have things in order. It's like, where's the love? That's the kind of energy that I feel here. Where's the love? Um, so, yeah. Again, you don't have to be an older woman. I feel like it's all about learning how to receive, gaining the wisdom and knowledge on how can I just receive and not chase? How can I attract and not chase, right? Queen of Pentacles. I mean, there you are. Um, you know, it's, it's Capricorn energy, but, like, that's, that's the energy of an older woman, an older, hardworking woman. And the Page of Swords, like, that's somebody with their eye on your back here. That's somebody with their eye on your finances. There could be somebody here who is really obsessed with what it is that you do. Um, but they feel like you can secure them. You can keep them safe. Um, you know, they've got you when they mess up. They've got you when they mess up. I mean, is that who you want to be for somebody? Or do you want somebody who's bringing the same things to the table? And I feel like that is something that is hitting you hard. It's hitting you hard. You have scissors, disappointment, and some affair. Because somebody here is just not trying. They're just not giving what it is that you need from them. You know? It's like they are 100% okay with you carrying all of this. And it's not necessarily that it's all for money. You know, you don't have to be wealthy 
for this for this part to be you you know this could just have something to do with the way that you make this person feel wealthy or valuable you know uh, what's going on with scissors disappointment in some affair magician you're realizing you're not going to get what you want out of this situation <clears throat> nine of swords yeah and that's hurtful that's hurtful but you also know that you can make it happen somewhere else so you are at peace with closing it out you know your soul is at peace with it you know What's best doesn't always feel good. Nine of Wands, Moon in Sagittarius energy, but you can't trust it. You can't trust it to give what you need. Um, you can't even trust it to appreciate what it is that you give. So yeah, you're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself from this. This could be a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Got a lot of signs out here. Mainly I feel fire, but I just feel like this person operates out of fire. Air sign who operates out of fire, possibly. Anyway, Sagittarius, I'm sorry I was so specific. Um, I do hope that you'll watch out for your other signs. And I also hope that, um, I don't, well, um, I do have additional content over on Patreon. So um, I hope that you'll at least check it out. I offer additional content for each sign over there. And um, there is information in the description box on my tarot course. So all of that is down there if you're interested, but no pressure, obviously. Um, if this is where we part, though, Sagittarius, I want to thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.